you are probably animating slower in Moho than you need to. And it's not just because you are a beginner. Even experienced animators make these three mistakes without realizing it. Fixing them could completely change how fast and smooth your animations feel. In this video, I will show you exactly how to spot and fix three common habits that slow down your moho animations. Ones that even many beginners don't realize are holding them back. These simple adjustments will help you animate faster and smoother without sacrificing quality, saving your time and frustration. But here's the twist. Even if you know these mistakes, why do so many animators keep making them anyway? The answer is surprisingly simple and it's exactly why most people never fix them. Let's get into it. I once set two keyframes for a simple arm lift, but when I hit play, the arm started moving way too early. Moho had taken over. I added one keyframe at frame 24 to lift the arm and another at frame 48 to bring it back down. But when I played it, Moho started lifting the arm all the way from frame 0, even though I never touched anything there. That strange early motion, it's Moho's default interpolation, trying to help and totally messing things up. Moho autofills motion between keyframes using a smooth curve. With no keyframe before frame 24, it assumes the movement begins at the start of the timeline. Here's how to fix it. Use step interpolation. It tells Moho to skip all the in-between frames and hold the pose exactly as it is until it jumps to the next keyframe and always scrub through your timeline to catch any auto movement you didn't plan. I animated both the arm and leg on frame 24. Later, I came back to tweak the pose, but only the arm keyframe showed up on the timeline. Confused, I scrubbed back and forth and clicked every bone. Still nothing. No sign of the leg keyframe. It felt like Moho had hidden everything. Moho's timeline shows two types of keyframes. White keyframes appear when any bone in the layer has animation on that frame. Red keyframes only appear when you have selected the specific bone that was animated. Click each bone, its red keyframes will show up right below the white one exactly where you animated them. They were never missing, just hidden. In short animations, my timeline stayed tidy, but as my projects got longer, it turned into a wall of tiny keyframes, impossible to read. I would keep scrubbing back and forth, guessing where scenes began. And since I wrote the script in Word, I was constantly switching between two apps. The back and forth slowed me down. I would miss cues, mess up timing. In long projects, it became a nightmare. Then I found a better way. Document markers in Moho. 
you can tag anything scenes dialogue notes reminders right on the timeline it's like turning your timeline into a road map no more guessing you can see the structure at a glance to enable document markers go to view timeline channels click the plus next to markers then hit apply and you are ready to start tagging the timeline is now organized into clear sections you can see exactly where scenes dialogue and sound cues happen i still use word to write the full script but now all the key planning lives right on the timeline everything you just learned will break down if your bone rig is broken in the next video i will show you why moho's bone tools trip up almost everyone and how to finally fix them it's the missing piece that makes fast animation actually possible